It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now, for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. It's very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling on process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Big left hand lands upstairs. Vicious combo there. That went in two. Oh, big left. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter. 
counter shot, so he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter strike. Just over three minutes to go. Man. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, my goodness. Massive left hand. Big right hand lands. That hook is bad. Oh, a cut has just opened up on his forehead. That bears watching. Got the hook in quickly. These boys are standing right in front of each other. Just kind of looking at them. Oh, big left hook there. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Strong outside leg kick. Big uppercut. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Lands to the body there. Under two minutes now to go. Trying to set up that counterattack. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Big shot. Wow. Great block there. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. He kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. Eyes to not take that shot. Oh, lands a nice strand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Final seconds of the round. is over, he got knocked down just before you heard the horn, and of course he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover, not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. Alright, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet, huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level striker, he throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Do All right, round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Oh, yeah. oh, that's big. Big inside kick. Oh, how good is that left hand? So another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage to see. Oh, oh, put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Stop. 
Great block. Well, no field out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage. Another knockdown! Goodness, what a fight. Let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Invincible. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champion of the world.